Hey everyone, uh, so today I have Jonathan with AZ um, Energy Efficient Homes um, doing a energy home audit at my house. Um, so I wanted to kind of experience what it was all about so that um, I can recommend it to you guys and uh, show you all of the benefits that it provides. So um, they have all sorts of stuff going on here with registers partially taped off and um, this Ghostbusters looking contraption on our door. And uh, so before we kind of start all the noise, wanted to speak with Jonathan about what this is all doing. And um, yes, yeah. just tell us what it's doing. <laughs> yeah. So this is a blower door. And what this does is this uh, depressurizes the house. And then we uh, can measure the infiltration rate of the envelope of the house. And we use a, a laptop and a, and a software and it, it basically crunches all the numbers automatically and creates a report. So this is what we use to do the depressurization of the house uh, to capture not only the envelope leakage, but we'll also be using it to capture the duct leakage and that would be measured with pressure pans. Okay, so we're, you're mostly looking for leakage to kind of resolve those issues to make the home more airtight and energy efficient. That Correct. Kind of thing. Okay. It'll tell us the overall envelope leakage. It'll also show us where the leakage is. I mean, it's typically switches and outlets and windows and weather stripping stuff and stuff that like that. People don't normally cam lights, about. you know, all those different things. Okay. We can feel where that uh, infiltration is and make note to correct that infiltration. Okay. But as I've mentioned before, most of the infiltration usually comes from the attic space. Interesting. So. Okay, so um, explain to us um, you know, why the, uh, the air vents are partially covered. So we, we have to tape off part of the return grills because they're so large. Okay. So the pressure pan that we use to cover to measure that duct leakage doesn't cover it completely, so we tape part of it off okay. so we can get a measurement on that uh, return. So a lot of preparation goes into yes. you know starting the test and um, you know, just to get the best readings. To... Yeah, as you've witnessed, and yes. sometimes the preparation can take half hour to 45 minutes, You know, sometimes an hour, depending on the house, just to prepare for the test. Okay, fantastic. Well, once we kind of run through the test, we'll be back with some more results and um, where my house is falling short. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. So they are finishing up the pressure test and part of that is, let's see what they're, tell us what they're doing now. So now uh, what we're doing is we're measuring duct leakage. So we're doing a pressure pan duct leakage test. So we go around to each of the registers and measure the pressure. We have the house under a negative pressure. So when we measure each register, we're measuring for leakage within that uh, duct system okay. because it's going to be at a different pressure than what we have the house set at. So you're able to pinpoint right where the leakage is coming from by doing this. Yeah, and okay. how much. Oh, okay. So if that one is is a number, right, and then that one is a number, and then that one is a number, the higher the number, the more leakage it will tell us right. where about the leak is going to be in that system. Okay. So it does help put out a roadmap of where that leakage is. Oh, and then how to and resolve And how much, it, yeah. How much and how to resolve it. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. telling me about another tool that you use uh, with infrared. So I know that it's, you said it's kind of limited in, in some of its accuracies, but that it has, it serves its purpose. Can you tell us a little bit more how you use that? Yeah, so infrared camera, I mean, it is helpful in some situations. We don't rely on it because we want to physically get our eyes on the, on the problem. Okay. So, but this is a perfect example of how it's limited. You know, it's winter time here. The temperature outside is matching the same temperature as the house and the attic is within a couple of degrees of the house and the outside. So with thermal uh, thermal cameras, you typically need a, a differential temperature for them to be pretty effective and, and see the, the details of it. Today, there really is no real difference in temperature, but we were up here and physically saw that this soffit is open uh, to the attic space and has some misaligned bat on it so there would be some really hot spots on this in the summertime when the attic is 140 degrees. It would light up and show a lot of red. Right now you can't see anything lighting up because the temperatures are all the same from the attic to the conditioned space. So 
you know, therefore it's really not reading much showing us. Um, so so uh, those kind of points out the, the importance of those visual inspections and knowing what you're looking for. And what right. You're looking that's for. where, so, yeah. you know, the expertise getting up and there. And, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You can't necessarily rely on this to show you, to find and show you the problems. Oh, okay. We Makes strongly sense. believe in physically going up there and finding them and documenting. Although I can't imagine that going into attics in the summer is much fun here either. So <laughs> it's it's not. But um, and here's another good point. Unfortunately, a lot of the utilities around the country are going to virtual audits, okay. where basically they have someone in a call center and the homeowner on their phone and sharing their phone screen, and all they're doing is going around the house with their phone, and the person on the other side is seeing the house and making assumptions, right? Right. And so you're not getting a good, accurate um, idea of what the issues are inside With the house. some of the other circumstances. Right. During, like you said, time of year. And Correct. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So all of the testing is kind of wrapped up. So you guys are going to go back and kind of analyze the data. I think you already have some uh, good ideas of where some of the flaws in my house might be. <laughs> um, but uh, and then you'll come back and kind of go through that with kind of an action plan. Is that kind of how, kind of how it works? Or? Yeah. So I'll do a follow up visit, go over all the photos that we took. We generally take, you know, on average about 70, sometimes wow. 100 photos, maybe 100 or more on the, on the larger houses. Um, we'll go over the photos with you. We'll go over the reports. So we got an envelope leakage. We got a duct leakage number. Um, they're getting ready to do room pressure testing. So we'll get those numbers and I'll come back and go over all the findings with you. Show you the pictures, explain to you what those pictures are telling us, right? Uh, explain to you what those numbers are telling us that we gathered. Um, but, you know, unfortunately you're like just about all other homeowners, right? She has this beautiful custom home in Paradise Valley. Um, and with that, there's inefficiencies built into it, right? Pretty much all the houses have that. So, sure. um, but yeah, I mean, we found, uh, some, a large amount of envelope leakage, not to be surprised. Um, we did find, you know, quite a bit of duct leakage. Okay. So, you know, those are a couple things that need to be addressed and, and, um, and that's what home performance contractors do. Okay, so perfect. So like once we kind of have this analysis, okay, these are the problems, then do you go that next step in helping us figure out how to remedy those issues? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So that would be part of the follow-up visit is to explain, you know, what, what what's going on, how that impacts you with building science techniques and how those can be remedied you know, along with the costs uh, to capture uh, those those corrections. And then um, we'll also uh, go over any applicable rebates that the local utility provider okay. will have for you. And then also there's some new federal tax credits that are uh, oh. available as well. So wow. okay. all so that will be discussed. You'll have a, a, a number when you leave. Awesome. And then, so that kind of all the factor of, you can tell us maybe what we would expect and maybe some energy savings based on making the improvements. Or? Correct. Okay. Yeah. That's super cool. So um, I don't think any of our houses are exempt from issues, clearly. So uh, I think it's you know so important for like all of us to have this uh, kind of uh, service done. Um, but also, you know, if, if we're assisting you with helping to purchase a home, like how critical would that be to have this done to know where the inefficiencies of the home when we're still in a position where we can negotiate with the seller perhaps to have uh, some of those things taken care of by them. So exactly, yeah. Very, very cool. I can't wait to see the report, kind of, because <laughs> I know there's some uh, bad news in there, but thank you so much for all that you're doing. Um, we really appreciate it. It's been great having you here. Uh, very professional team. Um, they wore booties. They were super kind and friendly, explained to us what was going on. So it was a really great experience. So um, again, reach out to us. I'll reach out to them directly if you have questions, um, but get it scheduled.